Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we're going to talk about the zero day that is fixed with Patch Tuesday, today, March 14th, 2023. So both for Windows 10 and Windows 11, one of the biggest threats in the Patch Tuesday today is a zero day already exploited by hackers that is actually used to install ransomware on machines. And the way it works is once again, it actually is able to circumvent some security features that actually have files with signatures. So uh, we talked about mark of the web files that usually will be put aside and tagged as, well, these were files downloaded from the web, so they could have a security risk. And what happens is that this security flaw actually is being exploited. It can actually bypass, once again, a mark of the web. We've heard that term a few times in the past. So it can also circumvent something interesting, and it's the fact that when you actually download a file, so if you download something from the web, what happens is often to install the software, you click on a file, and some of these files will have signatures, and these signatures are used to verify the authenticity of a file. And you know, Windows goes ahead and says, yeah, I know what that is, and I know that this is safe, so you can go ahead and install. What has been uh, the problem here is that the malicious so uh, file that is downloaded can actually be installed because it fools the system into still getting an installation as if the signatures are right. So that is what is fixed. Um, they say that more than 100,000 um, accounts of, of, of people or users downloading um, some form or another of this uh, bad install file and getting ransomware. And it all has to do with downloading something from the web and installing it. And of course, all it has to do with you know one of the security um, things that we talk about, one of the, the highlights of security for everybody is when you download something, make sure you download it from the known source, the company that makes it, not from a third party or some other weird place. And even that, you could see here when we talk about how Windows updates and updates of software prevent you from getting bad malware. Um, well, here is an example where if you had downloaded a program from the wrong source, once this patch Tuesday is installed, well, even if you click on it and try to install it, the malware that goes with it has no way to go, has nowhere to exploit anything. So it just can't install and do its job of giving you ransomware. So that shows you the importance of these updates, preventing you from getting all of these uh, problems, just in case you would have downloaded the wrong file. And that's not an antivirus that's gonna protect you because the antivirus itself doesn't see that that file that you download that has signatures is necessarily a bad file. Once again, there's a lot of reports showing that antivirus software, whatever you have, at best will see about 60% of the ran the bad files and the, the malware out there. 40%, they won't even know. You'll be infected before the antivirus even warns you, and that's too late anyways. So that just tells you that the security updates protect you a lot. And that is the zero day we're having this month, which is a, a pretty bad one. And, and it has to do with, you know, part habit, downloading the correct file from the correct place to install a new piece of software. Say you want to have, a, you know, VLC play, media player. Well, you know, you have to go to the VLC website, not from some weird place. In the case where you had the weird place, it could be infected with that, um, with that flawed. It could be malformed, and if you have s the Patch Tuesday security updates installed, well, even if you download it from the wrong place, 
that cannot exploit and you don't get the malware. So updates is the number one thing to keep you safe. And it's a great example here with that zero day flaw. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.